Hello, I'm Brandon Rush. I live in Los Angeles, California. I'm reading the role of Rashan in State of Emergency, and my recent credits include Criminal Minds, Murder in the First, and Days of Our Lives. Put your goddamn hands in the air. Put your goddamn hands in the air! Put your goddamn hands up in the air. Put your damn hands in the air. Oh shit, I should have dressed up. Put your damn hands in the air. What? That was good. One tiny, tiny little note. The lines actually put your goddamn hands up in the air. I don't know if that's make a big deal, but you know, sometimes the writers in the room and they can be kind of sticklers. Put your fucking hands up. Wow, that really made me want to put my hands in the air. Do it, do it or I'll kill you. One little thing. Different cast directors have different feelings on improv. You know, some like it when you add a little bit of flavor, when the other ones are like, eh, no way. So it's a gamble, but I like it. I mean, it could pay off. It's a big move. I'm Rashawn. I am servant of Allah. Sure you are. I'm from San Diego. Pakistan. <laughs> I gotta admit, I admire your commitment. Truth be told, I've been out on some of these Allah Akbar gigs that- Allah Akbar! Okay, I get it, buddy. You're staying in character. Regular Daniel Dane Lewis over here. But just between you and us, I'm getting really sick and tired of always going out for the crazy Muslim. I mean, can I go out for a teacher? Or what about a CIA agent? Anything that I don't have to wear a turban and yell, God is great. God is great, Allah Akbar! Okay, I get it. Let's save it for the room. Hey, speaking of which, uh, will you do me a favor? Will you run lines with me? Here, you play uh, girl number two, and I'll just start off and we'll go from there. Put your goddamn hands in the air! Please don't hurt me. My mommy is waiting for me. Where's your mommy? She's in the bathroom. Okay. Now we're gonna skip ahead a little bit to right about there. Yeah, uh, this is actually my favorite scene. This is suicide scene. <clears throat> Let the girl go. She's not a part of this. Allah, please forgive me. Is that how explosive vest works? I mean, I really don't know. I just feel like there'd be some kind of cord you pull or something. Yeah, you know, kind of like that one. Although the little red button's a little bit too much, and I don't know how I feel about the uh, ball bearings. It's kind of very swordfish. I think I'm going to keep it up here close to my heart. You know, it's kind of like symbolism. I should not be here. I should go. What? No way! Have you came all this way and you're dressed up? <sighs> you know what you should do? You're psyching yourself out, man. How about this? I'll read with you. You know what? I would... Hey, let me take that gun. Yeah, you know what, man? Sometimes <laughs> props can be a little bit of a distraction. Whenever you're ready. You need a script? Here, here you go. <clears throat> Put your hands in the air. No, I can't go. I'm looking for my mommy. Where is your mother? All right, we're gonna skip ahead some. Look, just let the girl go. She's not part of this. Allah, forgive me. I gotta be honest. I think you did it better the first time. Had it? Yeah, you know, when you first walked in, you were a lot more loose. You know what? I think I can handle it is. The script here. Let me take that. Now just let everything go. Just say what's on your mind. I don't want to die. Eh, I don't know if I'm believing that. I don't want to die! Is that action real? Because it sounds a bit flaky. Please! I want to live! I want to live! Allah, forgive me! Wow! <laughs> See, you got it. If you bring that kind of heat in the room, Speaking of which, you know what, man? You're up next. Uh, I like going last anyway, so don't worry about me. Yeah, look, I'll open the door for you. Yes, Captain, we got him. Yeah, he's in there with Agents Winchester and, and uh, Mason right now. Yeah, uh, it looks like a modified AK-47 with uh, armor-piercing rounds, and he had enough C4 in that vest to level the whole entire place. Well, thank you, sir, but I couldn't have done it without my team. For director? Look, I think that might be a little bit much, but uh, I'm just happy to serve my country. <laughs>